Bonjour my friends, I'm Frank Hume. Welcome to Club Foodie. When I was a food recipe analyst for an American cooking website, I once received a box with jar sauce, seasoning, and other food items along with recipes to try. There was one recipe in particular that caught my attention and I made it quite often since. Unfortunately, the recipe was requiring a jar sauce. So what I decided to do was to duplicate that sauce so I can make it anytime I want without buying it. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my prawn saganaki. This dish is a popular staple in Greece and you can serve it as an appetizer or a main course with crusty bread. So my friends, let's get cooking! So in a large saucepan over medium heat, we'll add oil. When hot, we'll add the onions and cook for 3 minutes. We'll add pressed garlic and red pepper flakes and quickly saute for only a minute. To this, we'll add Roma tomatoes, tomato paste, and black olives. We'll saute the ingredients for one minute. We'll pour in the wine, stir, and simmer until it reduces by half. That shouldn't take more than three minutes. Now we'll combine tomato sauce, basil, huzo, sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll stir the ingredients, reduce heat to low, and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Now about a couple minutes before the end of cooking, we'll stir in sugar, which will help to remove the acidity from the tomatoes. Next step, we'll pour in the tomato mixture into an 8x8 baking dish. We'll place the prawns on top and using a spatula, We'll lightly push them down halfway in the mixture. We'll evenly spread feta cheese on top before transferring into a 400 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 10 to 12 minutes or until the prawns are cooked through. We'll remove from the heat and sprinkle fresh chopped parsley before serving in warm bowls. And my friends, this is our prawn saganaki. You'll love this classic Greek dish flavored with ouzo and tomatoes. You can enjoy this recipe as an appetizer, but I prefer to serve it as a light main course along with fresh crusty bread and butter. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!